the second installment in the What Call My Eye series. In this edition, I'm going to focus on Man City's demolition job, 9-0 winners against Burton Albion in the first leg of the Carabao Cup semi-final, which all but makes sure that Man City are in the final. The one word I described Man City is relentless. They are covered in quality all over the pitch. I have not watched a live game where I've seen nine goals scored. I was disappointed they didn't go and get the tenth. I was willing them on to do just that. But they settled for nine. And let's not forget the Burton Albion had a fantastic chance to equalise. And if that goes in, Man City don't go and win 9-0. They still would have won, but it would have been a more respectable 3-1, 4-1 scoreline. Which would have meant that Burton Albion would have had a little bit of a sniff going in to the second leg. You've got to take your chances, especially when you're playing the ilk of Manchester City. Because they will punish you, and they did just that. Burton and Albion couldn't cope with what they witnessed throughout their fairy eyes. And Man City deserve a lot of credit for that. You've got somebody saying, it's disrespectful. They shouldn't be putting that amount of goals past Burton and Albion. Well, hold on a second. Isn't football an entertainment business? That's what the media keep telling us. That's what these people on these radio shows keep telling us. Pep Guardiola is not a people pleaser. He is not going to seek your advice because you don't know what you're talking about. He does it his way. It's his way or the highway. He's not going to care what these numbers say on, you know, likes of radio stations, obviously, and television. Because he's there to not please people, but please the Man City fans and please his players. And it would have been disrespectful if he put a full uh, youth team player in in the first leg but they'll clearly do that in the second leg but the British media are obsessed with teams playing young players the only reason they want Phil Foden to play is because it helps England that's all they care about is England the little Englanders all they care about is them who the hell cares it's because Sancho went to pastures new and Ian Diaz gone to Real Madrid that doesn't mean that Pep Guardiola is allergic to young players. So it's just a no, load of old guff that the media want to throw into the mix because Man City are virtually dominating everyone in sight so they need him to talk about and spice up these phoning shows that these presenters try and, you know, um, rile callers into calling in. So I thought Man City was superb. I think they'll face Chelsea, uh, Spurs, I beg your pardon, in the final. I think they'll have enough. And I think Man City will have enough to beat Tottenham in the final at Wembley, ironically enough. So, yeah, I was absolutely outstanding the way that Man City played. So the Burton Army players can have no excuses because, as I said, once that player scores that chance, the game completely changes. And that would have rocked Man City to the core. So, yeah, great performance by Man City. And they're getting their players back just at the right time to make sure those dirty scousers don't win the league. And Man City will win the league. And I think they'll win the League Cup as well.